it's Victoria Gimmel. I am of the Pit River Wintu, Nyana, and Athabascan tribes. I am from Sacramento, California. I'm originally from Redding, California. Ishi was a descendant of the Yana Yahi Nation, and in 1911, um, he emerged from the foothills of Lassen and the, he was in hiding for over 40 years. He was in hiding as a result of the gold rush and the genocide of the native people. At that time, there was an act in place called the Indian Removal Act. So it was highly profitable for the deaths of the Native Americans to the settlers. When Ishii came out of hiding, the reason why he came out was he was near starvation and in search for food when he was discovered. An anthropologist named Krober actually took possession of Ishii and they determined that they wanted to study Ishii and his culture and took him into care at the University of Berkeley. There was an instant attraction to learn about the ways and having a living form to show people. But unfortunately, he was put on display at the University of California, San Francisco. He was a human display or a human exhibit and people from all over the world came to view him on site as he portrayed a Native American in the wilderness. Being in the wilderness, he wasn't able to build up the immunities to the diseases that the rest of society had, and so he had contacted tuberculosis and passed away in 1916. In 2001, the representatives of Pitt River and the Maidu and the Redding Rancheria, which consists of Wintu and Pitt River and Yana tribes, flew back to the Smithsonian and were able to obtain Ishii's remains. They had a private ceremony at the Smithsonian. Once they brought back that portion of his remains to California, they reunited his brain with the previously cremated remains and took them to a secret location in the foothills of Mount Lassen. Then they buried his remains in a private ceremony to prevent any further desecration. Ishii's story is a very important story, not just for my people, but for everyone. Through his story, we should learn to respect one another's cultures and beliefs and protect that. Oh, <laughs> oh,